Good morning, we are live. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome. It is Monday 14th of October. Sarah from Real Fitness here, out in the community, running those fitness classes for everybody. And then also we've got the online classes as well. Excuse my mess at the back. <laughs> I want to go into the back of the car. So it is Menopause Awareness Month. But this week, I am just taking this these next few days to talk about menopause and how to keep yourself strong and fit and well. Um, so I'm labeling this week Menopause Week. So listen up about this time every single day, and then I'll drip feed lots of information on my Real Fitness page throughout the day, um, and the same each day with the topic that I'm talking about. So first of all, let's talk about class information. So um, all this week, um, lots of classes going on, so I'm just going to go through all the classes right now. First of all, let's go through the virtual fitness classes for this week, week commence on the 14th. Feeling Fab in 15 Minutes is going to have a Pilates theme. So we are looking to do more lower intensity, um, looking after the mind, body and soul today. So check out all the Feeling Fab in 15 Minutes this week and hope you enjoy those 7.45 a.m. You'll find me on virtual fitness and then also real fitness at um, the today and Friday because Friday is menopause awareness day. So I will be doing a workout for everybody on Friday. So 7.45 they go live, but you can catch up at any time during that during those during that time. Excellent. So um, we've also got Pilates online full class on Wednesday, which will be um uh, live for everybody to pick up in the virtual fitness group and on the Pilates online group as well. So all good. Okay, face-to-face -face classes. Let's start with today, Monday 14th. We have classes this evening, Long Walk Green Community Centre. Our first class at 6 p.m. is Clubber Size. Um, you'll find me at Long Walk Green. Make sure that you book in. It's looking incredibly busy when I last checked. Um, so make sure that you are booked in and please book out if you can't come as well. 7.05 to 8 p.m. is Pilates. This week, we're going to have a little bit more back care. Um, we're going to looking be doing uh, stretching, strengthening, mobilizing the back. Um, so nice release, um, and that will hopefully feel really good on the back, lower back, mid back, upper back. So join me there. And of course, this class tonight is looking extremely busy again. So do book in, book out, if you wish to come to Monday's class for Pilates. Tuesday morning, Hanham Community Centre, 15th of October, 9.30 to 10.30. We're going to be doing a standing st standing strength. So you need to bring a long band and hand weights for Tuesday's class. Um, and it's all going to be standing. So that's quite, an, quite a novelty for uh, fitness Pilates Pilates. Um, but it's a really good class, a really strong class. So see you there on Tuesday. Wednesday, um, Light Green Community Centre, 9.30, 10.30. And this week I'm trying, I'm racking my brain just trying to think what we're doing. We're doing a cardio core. That's what we're doing. So cardio and core workout, that would be at light green. You need to bring your hand weights and your mat for that one. I'll let you know if there's anything else. Uh, Thursday, so that's Thursday, 17th of October. You'll find me for four classes that day. Um, we've got 9.15 to 9.45 seated fitness at Longwood Green Community Centre. 10 a.m. is Pilates back stretch again. And then in the evening on Thursday, 6 p.m. is Clubber Size, followed by Lift Lean Week. Oh my word, one, two, three, week three this Thursday. And we will be doing a pre exhaust upper body this week. Excellent. There's all our classes that are running this week. Don't forget to check out all the extra classes that are coming up this autumn um, and into the festive season we've got ghoulish glow for clever size which is all next week we've got pilates yoga lattes a extra class on friday the 8th of november fitness pilates vibes in november and we've got festive fun and we have a breath work um, meditation relaxation right hopefully you have all those details in your inbox everything else i need to mention um oh we've got a meal out um, planned for the 15th of November, Friday, I believe that is, 15th of November. Um, if you wish to come along to that one, we are going to uh, Botticinos in Emerson's Green that evening, 6.30. Please book your space for that one. We're still doing Refer a Friend um, for the September, October. So if you have referred a friend, do let me know. If you would like to refer a friend, do let me or Julia know. 
Um, and I think that's everything I'm going to mention right now. If you want to order a hoodie, um, order those with me. That'll be fantastic. My word, I have zoomed through everything. Let's talk menopause. So um, I'm talking peri all the way to post. So that covers a very large age group. So that's sort of like from late 30s, maybe all the way to I don't know. 70s. So quite a vast age where women go through the hormonal change of estrogen, progesterone, testosterone decreasing. Um, and of course, there are many symptoms or no symptoms for some people as well. And looking after your body at this time is absolutely crucial. So menopause is a natural biological process that marks the end of a woman's reproductive years. Typically between 45 and 55 is menopause, but then we have the perimenopause before that. We have the postmenopause where women still go through all those, uh, can have hormonal changes. Primarily involving a decline in estrogen and progesterone production in the ovaries. So what can we do to look after ourselves? And I think probably the key thing that we can be completely in control of is what you put into your body food-wise, consumption-wise, during peri to, to post-menopause. Things that you can do to help your body's function and systems. So improving nutrition during menopause can help manage the symptoms, support bone health, promote overall well-being. So here's five key strategies that you can adopt. Do have a good intake of calcium and vitamin D. Menopause accelerates bone loss due to lower estrogen levels, increasing the risk of osteoporosis. Boost your intake of calcium-rich foods like dairy products, leafy greens, fortified plant-based milks. Vitamin D is essential for the calcium absorption and can be found in fatty fish, fortified foods, and of course, supplements. And I think as we live in a country where there's not a great deal of sunshine, Vitamin D throughout the winter is essential. But of course, do check everything with your medical professional before you take any supplements if you are concerned. Prioritize protein for muscle maintenance. Muscle decreases. We get muscle atrophy if we don't use our muscles, but we also need to make sure that we're feeding our muscles and our body the right amount of protein. So up your protein. Lots of muscle mass can occur sorry, loss of muscle mass can occur during menopause. So include high quality protein like lean meats, if you're a meat eater, fish, eggs, beans, tofu, nuts in your diet to help maintain muscle mass and support metabolism. Focus on heart healthy fats as well. With hormonal changes, the risk of heart disease increases. Incorporate healthy fats like those found in avocados, Olive oil, nuts, fatty fish, which are rich in omega-3 fat, omega fatty acids to support cardiovascular health. Eat fibre-rich foods as well. Fibre supports digestion, helps regulate blood sugar levels and can lower cholesterol, which becomes more important as the risk of heart disease rises. Include whole grain fruits, vegetables, legumes and seeds in your daily meals. Limit sugar and processed foods. So hormonal fluctuations during menopause can lead to weight gain and increased blood sugar sensitivity. Reducing your intake of sugary foods, refined carbs and processed snacks can control weight and stabilize blood sugar levels. So these strategies can help promote better health and help manage menopause related symptoms like weight gain, fatigue and mood swings. So nutrition is absolutely key. Okay, I'm going to leave you there. I've spoken for almost 10 minutes now. Have a great day. Don't forget to book onto your classes this week. Book out if you can't attend. Any questions on anything I've covered today, or if you want to hold yourself a nice hoodie for the winter as it's getting cooler, then do let me know and I'll see you at classes and I'll see you online. Thanks for listening.